Welcome everyone. Today, taking a look at the brand new friends list UI, explaining you know how things work now. An overhaul. Um, rest in peace, old friend list. Twenty two thousand twenty two thousand eight to twenty sixteen. Uh, it's been a good run. Definitely an overhaul that needed to be done a long time ago. But honestly, I'm happy it is accomplished. Um, a lot of changes, and uh, I guess without further ado, let's go over, um, because there's actually a lot of miscellaneous stuff that improves the game drastically, in my opinion, and I thought it was worth a video, especially since a lot of people haven't been on test yet. Kind of a, uh, new thing, and, well, anyway, before we get to the friends list, because that is, <laughs> that is <laughs> a lot to talk about, um, New UI when you hit escape, as you all know, for all of the option menus. Different icons have changed. Um, the ones to note are the uh, the third option here. Going over here, friend notifications is a new intertwined UI with uh, friends. There is a bubble that appears on the left side. It's unfortunate no friends are on right now. Um, I do have friends, I swear, I promise. Um, but when they come online, it, it will express their name here and then said is online. If they go offline, their name appears is offline. Um, you can have that on or off, notifications, yes, no. Uh, chat text size. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is where it's getting a little experimental. Um, an overhaul of the actual chat. Um, let us demonstrate here large okay so actually let's let's keep it for small here um all right let's say hello right nobody's here obviously oh i don't have bubbles up so i was recording uh all right so hello it's more fun when there's bubbles hi so now you see that right see i'm having a conversation with myself i'm going crazy let's compare so there's the large <laughs> but you don't actually type out hello in that size that would be crazy if that was the case. Oh my gosh, Woo Commons would be even more insane. Um, and then let's go to medium size. So that's medium. It's definitely a personal preference kind of thing. Me, I am probably going to remain on the small side here. Um, medium, I could get used to. I, I don't think I'll ever keep it on large. That's just a mess. Because like you start getting into where you need to have like the chat box be this big and then it takes up the entire screen which I'll get into that with the new friends UI of why that's a problem for some people because it does take up the whole screen and for those who have smaller monitors and or who like to play on multiple characters at the same time you have a minimized screen it comes into a problem so for me personally I'm gonna keep it on small uh, medium is definitely see look at that difference yeah crazy um, another major thing before we get into the friend UI uh, is the brightness and contrast transparency uh, system get them good. That's the official name that I'm putting it for. Uh, you can now change the resolution, which it seems like it lags the game when you do that, which makes absolutely no sense. Oh, I need to support. I need to support. I need to report that bug. I'm not in support of that bug. Uh, so. As it was before, it was kind of a uh, darker transparency, and then you can lighten it up here, and it's just kind of a customized thing. For those who don't know, so you'll close out of this, and this will remain. Um, fair warning, you have to double-click it, uh, so just be aware of that. So that's kind of the uh, new updates here. I mean, they have new icons. I mean, looking overview, uh, things pretty much are stayed the same, um, other than the fact that... Uh, you now have the most important ones with friend notifications, which is something that you would have thought would have been in a while back, you know, when it first came out. But once again, I'm not complaining, but also it's a very good addition, and I'm very proud of that one. I'm um, just making sure there's nothing else cheeky. And then, of course, the credits, which, yes, Polaris. Thank All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so now, getting into the beef of the episode is the friends list change. Now, a lot of people are confused about this, um, and this, yeah, I mean, I was too at first, and currently I have no friends online, uh, but basically, let's go towards, so this is the new UI, if people have not seen it, completely different, I mean, it's completely overhaul, uh, once again, rest in peace, the old system, um, going into the more friends option, 
Uh, when people are actually online, I mean, is the case, they would be shown up. Uh, the new icons for create and enter true friend codes, this still remains the same here. Different icon, enter friend finder codes, there you go. Earn crowns by inviting a friend, well that's usual. Display friend count. Uh, so this is actually brand new. This is something that I appreciate a lot because counting everybody and then seeing, you know, who's been offline and who's online and how many I have... This is how much it is. So now it's exposed because I did remove people recently because they are inactive completely. Friends list is open here. Uh, sort by alphabetical order. Now, so this is a new uh, listing system where I'll explain all these icons because this can be a little confusing. Uh, where you essentially sort by school, which is a really cool option. Sort by level, so you can have higher level uh, wizards, friends uh, being first or last. Uh, sort by friendship date. That is a huge addition. Um, so explaining that, I don't really know if I actually can pop it up in this video, but hopefully I can where it, when you add the person and or you've had them added, I don't know if it was in effect of uh, actually having the friends you have already had before this update it accounts to what date you add them but now it adds the date down below in the year month day and year of when you added them which i think is really cool um so you can see that sort by friend status sort by friend symbol sort by friend symbol and then etc 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 and then there's just a lot of option here all of these by the way do not be confused do not be scared they are just symbols to indicate whatever you want um i think i have blaze nate as a green jewel i have lou as the little leaf right here i have nick as a troll because he's myth and he's a goober and then uh alz 69er i have him as a fish and or i'm trying to remember if i put him as well i don't remember what i have it and then i have tara as this i'll have to look at the friends list. i'm pretty sure it's explaining but right now i have it in alphabetical order you can have it be sorted by certain things you can't have it all be sorted by the same thing because that wouldn't make sense but that is definitely something i'll be looking further into so that option is right here so by alphabetical order you can click that and that is good now you see the overhaul here going to all friends all right so there's alz oh i think alz was on a different oh that was on my myth so that's another thing it is different per character that is the very interesting thing uh but also be warned that if you want to keep it the same symbol and different things customization then you have to do it on each character um which is good because it gives some individuality uh here so for alz you click the little icon repeating that there um what should we give alz what are we what are we feeling today team and you can change it as often as you want let's give him the fish why not so then it changes to the fish and right here which is very cool uh gives a picture of what they look like similar to where or when you actually uh visit them last and it has a little uh get them good right here of their character when they log on and it goes to the different friends and all of these people so this is Stormhammer, so I did see... See, look at this. This is really cool. I don't know if this is a bug and or it hasn't been fixed yet, but the fact that they appear and disappear, that definitely has to be fixed. Um, but Blaze Stormhammer, for example, I put him as a... Uh, let's, let's actually change that since he's actually Storm. That's awkward. And we'll put him as that. There we go. So when you actually click on him... Oh, that is the wrong thing. Click on the actual person... Um, you have a changed uh, inspect here. So this is where you actually can see their stats. This is a change from just the icons of being on the left and right side. Uh, you actually can see uh, by clicking this button here. So you, then you can actually see what they're wearing. Which is kind of a more concise uh, method here. And you can see everything here. Which I really enjoy. Um, you can remove friend. Which is <laughs> that's really that's actually the saddest thing I've seen. Ignore report um and then uh friend status recent and then so basically yeah i pretty sure see that's the one thing i don't really know or 
I wish was different is that I don't think they have the actual date you had of this person before the actual overhaul, which is kind of sad. Um, but basically, see when I didn't actually port to ALZ, see that's the thing. So it has this, but then it gets updated, which he's not an actual golem, so that's that's funny. But that is kind of the uh, kind of the little bit of an overhaul. I mean, you have ignored. I don't have anybody ignored, by the way. Online friends, no online friends. It's kind of sad. Um, but that is kind of the new friend UI. You know, there's probably some things I'm missing. Maybe. Uh, but I don't think so. It's definitely going to be an interesting few weeks to get adjusted. There it is. Is online. Nicholas Deathblade. There you go. So that's, that's an example. So that when you actually see online friends, and then there he is. So you can actually, when they're online these options pop up the new go to location right here which is <laughs> literally an arrow on a head uh add to group which is kind of a new icon here uh request true friend finder code text chat menu chat and those are the options that pop up and then just like just you know it's, it's pretty cool i enjoy this this is definitely a much needed uh overhaul i appreciate it let me give you an icon so you don't feel left out and i don't feel bad let's give you that one there uh, but definitely, as you can see, I guess one of the biggest things that uh, people don't enjoy is that this is takes up... I mean, I, I have a pretty big screen here. Uh, I have, what is it, a 25-inch monitor or something like that that I play on for Wiz when I record. And, well, essentially all the time. And, I mean, it takes up a chunk, like a quarter. So here's a quarter, here's a quarter, a quarter, and then a quarter. So, I mean, it definitely is bigger... Um, which, you know, will get to people's likings and or not, but it's just something I guess we have to get used to. For me, it works perfectly and I don't mind it. Um, and then it's kind of like putting things to the extreme right here, just for an example, like just so you can have a big text chat here and hello, hi, okay. And then you can have like, <laughs> like this takes up the screen. This, but you know, who's actually going to have that set up like that? Some people probably, not me for sure. But team, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I <clears throat> answered a few questions people have had uh, over view of the friends list. Definitely something that is still a little buggy, especially with the icons when they're when you're just looking at it stationary at your all of your friends. Uh, but it's really cool though. I guess I see this one's actually working well, but then it disappears unless I'm doing something wrong. Uh, but then it has their school and their uh, level. So anyway, take care team. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.